Hello, my name is Todd Durkin. I'm out here in beautiful San Diego, California. I'd like to offer a tip for you today on building your business. As a matter of fact, I'll give you five ways to build a business right now. The first one is protect your mindset. I always say get your mind right. Talk to my athletes in, in the trenches. Get your mind right, get your mind right. It's no different when you're a business leader or a business person. You have to protect your mindset. Staying positive, reading good books, listening to audio tapes, surrounding yourself with an inner circle of people that will help propel your business to the next level. And whether you're a trainer or any business for that matter, you have to protect your mindset. You have to make sure that you don't live in fear and you continue evolving as a business. So protect the mindset, get your mind right, and continue to live your dreams. The second thing is be visible. If you're looking to build a business, you must be out there. You have to be visible. That means if you're a trainer, you're not in the office all the time. You're actually on the floor. Even if you're not training, you're, you're out there so people can see you, you're interacting, you're connecting. That means getting out of your facility and talking. Regardless of you're an owner or manager, you're just a trainer in a gym or studio health club, everyone is a leader everyone is a leader. So get out there and talk at the physical therapist's office, chiropractor's office, do speaking engagements, be part of Toastmasters, whatever it is, you have to be visible regardless of your role. And when I say just, okay, everyone is important. From the top on down, we're all important in the organization and we all must accept responsibility for the success of the organization. So be visible. The third aspect of building a business is slow down to speed up. If you're looking to propel yourself and your business to the next level, we must slow down. What I mean by that is I like for you to take time from working in your business and work on your business. That's strategic time to work on what you're gonna do to leverage your time to make more money. So slow down, step back, and I would encourage you for every 90 days, maybe spend two, three days out of that period in actually writing and working on your biz. What direction are you going in? What are your goals for the next 90 days? Who are the people that you must connect with to get your business to the next level? What are the most pressing things that you have to do? So slow down and not don't always be in the trenches doing 45, 50 sessions a week because you can't work on the other important things as well. The fourth aspect of building a business is add value to your product and to your following. Hey. Each and every one of us, it's very important that we have a tribe, a following of people. What can you do to add value to your program? So whether you have a newsletter, you're giving away free information, free content, um, what can you do for your clients uh, in gifting them? If they buy a new package of programs, what can you do so they um, are just really, really believing in your product and your programs? So always ask yourself, am I adding enough value and over deliver? under promise and then over deliver and that's really going to uh, allow that client to think wow which brings me to my last my fifth point don't forget the customer experience create wow create wow is number five always focus on the customer experience what can you do to wow that person a lot of times it's the attention to detail the little things that you do hey can I get you a towel can I get you a glass of water what can I do to further help you reach your goals what can I do to assist you any little things make a huge difference so when you focus on the wow factor when you get the wow and you have a lot of value and you're strategically planning you get so much momentum in your business that it allows you one by one by one by one to create your following to create your tribe so they can go out into your community and talk about the wonderful work that you do so those are the five ways to build a business protect your mindset be visible make sure that people can see you get out there and do something slow down to speed up add value to your program, and then always have wow. I ask you the question, what are you going to do today for your clients, for your loved ones, for your family members to wow them? And if we do that, we're going to really, really build your business to where you want it to be. That's my tip of the day. We'll talk to you soon. Peace and God bless.